Alright guys, so what we got is, is the uh, Damon slash spoke wheel here. It's got wedges on it versus the other uh, style which is just loving what you hold the wheels on. This is actually a, it's a wheel and there's a spacer in between the outside wheel and then they're held on by wedges. Sometimes you'll find these as uh, double wedges. Uh, these are just single ones. But there's five of them. Then the way you can tell as you can see, it doesn't look like the uh, standard setup. These are actual wedges here with a nut that holds them on. Everything's kind of up under pressure here. See there? Now when you go to take these off, you definitely do not want to back the nut off all the way because it's under pressure. Uh, if you take the nut all the way, the actual wedge can shoot off and hurt you. So what I do is I just bump them loose all the way around. Right there I heard uh, an actual pop so it was already um, uh, coming loose. And I'll just take my hammer and tap the wedges. They're all loose now. I don't have any uh, to show you, but these wedges come in different sizes starting from right here to here, the L part. Uh, these are short ones. There's actually a medium one and then a long one as well too. And then you can see the spacer that's in there. This, these are the cheap ones. This would be the spacer right here. These are the cheap ones. These usually break uh, pretty easy. There's some solid ones out there that are better. Sometimes these do break. Um, and the way to get those out is a tool like in my other video. Um, but it looks just like this. And say it breaks in half, you would take it right here, hit it with a hammer, it will catch on to the piece. Then you can use your um, your same socket to take it off. Um, if you don't have that tool, if you're able to put one of these on and then another one behind it, lock them in, you can try that way. But I recommend getting one of these. You hit it on and then uh, just use the socket to take it off. Right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to install a new one these studs so basically it's a tool just like this it has a ball bearing in there so the stud doesn't get stuck in it and then you can just use the same impact socket to tighten it up so basically see if I could do this one-handed you're gonna screw the stud in just like that the shorter side is gonna go in in the wheel you're gonna tighten it all the way so it's uh, tight and then because this tool has a, like a ball bearing in there that's spring loaded, the tool won't get stuck to it. And you can just back it out and the stud will stay there. If you don't have this tool, um, you can put two nuts on here, tighten them up, use it that way. But I'll leave a link to this tool, pretty awesome. Um, it's an installer, it comes as a set. So once you got the wheel on, one of the biggest things here is this wedge big deal this wedge should not be touching the spindle there's a little tab right there on the edge of it that should not be touching the wheel there should be a minimum gap somewhere right in there no less um, if it is touching you got a problem it's either the wheel the wedge itself is worn out um, or even the spacer could be bad so this being a small wedge, if you had a medium one, it may sit back here somewhere, which would be fine. 
um, but if you had some bigger wedges they're all touching then you can actually change the spacer because they come in different widths as well but what I'll do is um, the way I tighten these up I'll put all these on uh, kind of start up at the top just make sure they're kind of equally on and then start to tighten them up with a uh, half inch gun